August 20th, 1978. Under a humble park bench in Ashland, Wisconsin, a neat pile of bones were found by an anonymous old woman. Police forensic units determined that the pile contained human bones, and judging by the shape, size, and bone density, they were the bones of an old man. What wasn't determined was the method of death, or how the bones could be so clean. The anonymous old woman didn't immediately report the findings because the bones were so white. She thought it was a joke at first. Forensics were also confused as to why the pile contained two right prisiform bones. July 26th, 1979. On the front lawn of a small ranch house in Dinosaur, Colorado, were another pile of bones, discovered by Cleveland Barthmore, local locksmith, when he went out for his morning paper. He too thought it was some sort of joke. Perhaps they were dinosaur bones, alluding to his residency. Upon noticing a human skull in the pile, forensics again had a go at a pile of immaculate bones. At this point, no connection was drawn between this case and the Ashland case. However, that wouldn't last long after an extra right talus bone was found. The cases continued. A pile found in a Walgreens parking lot in Harvey, Louisiana, August 8, 1985, plus an extra left humerus. A pile found at the entrance of a failing Methodist church in Snowflake, Arizona, 1992, plus an extra right vomer bone. A pile found on the docks in Newport, Vermont, September 19, 1998 plus an extra right clavicle. It's been an ongoing case, but the police don't publicize this problem that arises yearly. See, there are 206 bones in the human body. And they figure they got a shot at solving the case in the year 2183, around fall. <laughs>